Hello guys, it's Nicholas speaking. Welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you one very useful trick regarding accordion elemental widget. If you use this image so far, you already know it opens by default. And today, in my case, I want to be closed by default. Closed. Okay. So far, Elementor 3 and Pro version, they don't have this feature, so until they implement it, let's use some CSS. Before that, don't worry about this bad contrast. In one of my previous tutorials about Contact Form 7 is responsible for that, this one. And for this section, actually in next tutorial I'm going to create this section, and in the video after that I'm going to connect it with email marketing service like MailerLite. Without further ado, let's get back to our accordion widget. So here I have one section with three columns and with three accordion. The first step after you add the accordion, sorry, actually uh, you need to create one more field than you need actually because we are going to hide it. So you can name it whatever you want and in advance in this CSS class put your desired name. In my case, it will be fake field. Okay, so you can paste this class for the second. This is completely optional and click on update. Now, if you have the Elementor Pro version, you can add a few lines of CSS down there. But if you have only three, don't worry. In that case, go to the customizer. Actually, we need custom CSS part. By the way, I'm using the Astro team. So go to your desired page. In my case, this is the accordion. Click on additional CSS. This is the CSS from my previous tutorials. And down there, you can add the comment. And here, first, we need to add this chunk of CSS actually. This is our desired class with element or accordion classes and div in first of type actually with that command display none uh, it hides this first field actually. If you want to know more about first of type selector in CSS you can find it on this website. I will put link down there in the description. Uh, so uh, here we need to restore this top border actually. And for that we need to paste in this CSS. Actually here we have targeted the element or accordion div. Actually div with that class. And inside we have element or accordion item. We need the second one. So with and with and child second, we target it. And this is the border top. And don't forget to put important. Use the important important part only when you need. Okay, click here on publish. Then go to our page. And this is our accordion with fake field class. And this is without. Okay, guys, this is the end of this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell notification. See you next time. Bye bye.